Hey everyone, in today's video we're going to talk about runtime errors in Windows. These errors have been around as long as the operating system itself, and they're a common sight when an app crashes. So let's take a deeper look at what runtime errors are and what you can do about them. Runtime errors occur when an application encounters an issue during execution, which is different from errors that occur during the compilation process. These errors can be caused by a variety of factors, including logic errors, memory leaks, dividing by zero, undefined objects, and input-output errors. Now let's go through some general fixes that may work for runtime errors, regardless of the specific type. You can reboot your computer. Restarting your computer can clear out any temporary data caches or other working data that may have caused the program to stop. Update the application. Make sure you're using the latest version of the software, as bugs can often be resolved with updates. Likewise, you should update Windows. Ensure your operating system is up to date, as runtime errors can also be caused by issues with Windows itself. Always update your drivers. Updating drivers for your computer components might fix hardware-related runtime errors. Try reinstalling or repairing the application. Uninstalling and reinstalling the app can override corrupt data with a fresh copy, potentially resolving the error. Close all other apps. Closing non-essential programs can free up memory and help mitigate errors caused by memory leaks or a lack of available memory. Run Windows in safe mode or perform a clean boot. These methods can help you determine if the issue is driver related or caused by third party apps. Update runtime components. Ensure that required runtime components such as Microsoft Visual C++ are up to date. Check for corrupt files. Use tools like the Windows Systems File Checker, that's SFC, to check for and repair damaged system files. Perform a malware scan. Run an antivirus or anti-malware scan to rule out malware as a cause of your runtime errors. Perform a memory test. Run a memory test to make sure your RAM isn't faulty as this can also cause runtime errors. And that's it for today's video. I hope this helps you better understand runtime errors and how to address them. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more content like this. If you want more in-depth details about how to fix runtime errors, check out the article linked below. See you next time.